been your priorities in the first couple of days? Obviously, getting to know the squad. It's all about the first team players. So, getting to know the squad, getting to know the staff, clarifying roles and responsibilities, and just getting, generally getting to know them. You know, so, as I say, it's the first couple of weeks. This is the second day, really. The boys were off yesterday. So, second full day. And uh, a lot's been done in that 48 hour period. I'm, I'm looking forward to the job ahead now. What surprised you and what's disappointed you with anything so far? Nothing has disappointed at all. Um, the facilities, outstanding. As I said, some a lot of quality in the, within the playing squad, the staff, the attitude, a lot of good work being done. You know, Gary and Jack before, so a lot of good work being done. So, full respect for that. And what we have to do now is, as I say, get to know the squad. Very important game this weekend. And then we have the international break, and that allows us some time to uh, further develop, understand people, and, and tell them what we're expecting, our philosophy, style of play, etc. So the breaks come at a good time as well. You come to a club who's only two points clear of the, the relegation zone. Was that a you have to. I think you have to give. You live and die by the quality of decisions. There's no doubt about that. But um, a club of this stature, uh, the history, tradition associated with London Forest. So um, you took everything into consideration. But it's um, you know it's a pleasure to be and a privilege to be here as well. Obviously, the club's gone through a lot of managers over recent years. How much did that weigh on your mind before coming? No, I understand that. And again, you have to take everything into consideration. But I think it's important that you, you have faith in your own ability. Um, you look at the job that you think it has to be done um, in terms of the squad in the summer and, and the ensuing windows, in terms of staffing, in terms of we have to we have to get the club back to where it needs to be. And how do we go about that in the short, medium and longer term? So have faith in your ability and, and go forward with the job. I was going to ask about short term and perhaps more medium term targets. Where do you see this club? Say, yeah, well, the obvious, the obvious answer in the short term is we need to to stay in the division. That's the obvious one. We are where we are, as you said that earlier. So we have to set the ship, get the performances in, get the points we require on the board. Then we need a very solid pre-season to to try and fine tune the squad, to try and add the quality that we need in certain key areas. And, and the club has every club in the division will tell you they have to push for the playoffs and promotion. The Premier League is the promised land and that's what we have to get to. And, and certainly look around the stadium outside there, a club of this stature has to be in the Premier League. So we're not, I'm not alone in saying that, obviously, but that has to be a, a very clear and realistic ambition. Would you see a, a big turnover in players in the summer? I've been here two days, as I say. It's a, it's a, it's a sizeable squad. There's a lot of players in the squad and, and that can cause problems in, by itself. But um, we'll look at the squad. Every player is a blank canvas. Every player has a chance to impress. You know, how hard they train every day, their intensity, their quality that they show. If they work hard, they'll be given a chance, plain and simple. They need to know that. It's, it's right to do that. So um, we've got seven or eight weeks to look at the squad and let's see how we go from there. You think you can keep them up? Absolutely. Absolutely. What about the um, uncertainty there is around the ownership of the club and investment, that kind of thing? How how aware are you of all of that? Well, hopefully, I've received you know, some, some um, good assurances. Again, all part of the consideration that goes into making a decision of this nature. So um, I'm, I'm confident that we get the support that we need to take the club forward. Um, it won't be reckless, that's for sure. We have to get value for every pound that we, that we spend. That's really important to see the support to see value for money being spent. But um, no, I'm confident that we get the backing that we need. And obviously, Frank McParland was here just before you arrived. How important is your relationship with him? Frank, it helped us enormously. I know Frank very well. Um, over a number of years, I've watched him work. I watched the quality of his work, you know, the quality of his recruitment, his eye for a player, his knowledge of football clubs and, and how the game works. So full of respect for Frank. I think he's an outstanding individual, one of the very best in the business. Uh, Frank coming in early into Forest gave us a real insight. He gave us colour as to where the club was, the players, he said to the staff. That really helped us. And as I said, it was a very swift decision, but it was helped by the fact that Frank was here first. Gary Brazil, Jack Lester earlier. What is their future? Well, so they've done tremendous work in the academy. I understand the fact academies exist to get players in the first team squad, and you look at the first team squad now, you know they're doing a very good job. There's no doubt about that. They stepped into a difficult role, full of respect for the work they did. Had a good chat with both of them this morning, met them for the first time, and um, delight to chat with them, as I say, and I look forward to them hopefully continuing the work in the academy. You say hopefully, do you know that they'll continue? No, I so said that that comes under Frank's remit. So as I say, second day here, drove up from London this morning. So Frank, Frank, that's uh, he'll control that area of things. But I'm um, delighted with the chat this morning. As I say, the quality of their work is there for to see. Um, first game up is Derby. That is quite some game to, to walk into. No, but these are the games that players players must relish. I understand the emotions involved and the passion involved. We know exactly what it means to the supporters. Local Derby is a huge game. You know, for a number of reasons. So you respect that. You recognise the responsibility you have as a group of players and staff. But relish it, enjoy it. 
you have to. These are the games. So um, prepare well, train well, and look forward to it. It'll be a great encounter and um, touch wood, three points. Might it be a bit odd because you come up against Gary Rowett, who will also have his first game in the Derby? Yeah, unusual in that respect. I, I met Gary on a course not so long ago, had a good chat with him. Enormous respect for Gary and a, a play, obviously, the work at Birmingham. Was first class as well, so um, difficult for him. I thought he's um, he's made a good decision. That big club, so we're looking forward to it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? No, as all you, all you can say is, as a, as a young guy growing up, young kid growing up, you know, you love the football clubs. I said the same as at Rangers. You know, you're aware of the big clubs and the big derbies, and um, I understand it. I recognise it, understand the significance of this game, what it means to so many people in the area. Uh, the history of both clubs is, is you know, very obvious as well. But, um, you know, it's important for us to, to say to the players, to get the balance right. You know, they have to go out there and perform. They have to go and perform and enjoy that pressure that comes with games of this, of this you know, of this level. Um, but it's very important, isn't it? Like they've got to understand what these games mean to so many people, and that's the key. And as I said earlier, recognise it, relish it, enjoy it. It's strange, isn't it, that this is your first game, and you know you've got your first game as a manager, and so is Gary Rowett. And football, these strange things happen. Like football is the, these these quirks are always thrown up so many times, but um, is is interesting. Um, as I said earlier, a lot of respect for Gary. Um, we know that he goes in the same way. It's new for him and new squad of players. So the same, not issues, the same you know, situations that we're encountering right now at Forest, I'm sure he'll be doing exactly the same. So it's um, our job is to focus on Forest. Great respect to, to Gary, great respect for Derby. I don't care enough above that. It's about Forest for me. And it's about us getting to know our squad, making the environment better for them uh, and allowing them to perform as professional athletes. If we can do that, then sooner rather than later, then we'll be in a good place. Yeah, but it's, it has to be one game at a time. It has to be, you know, this is the second day. Let's be, this is the second day. So it's all about getting to know the squad. They've got to start to understand what we want from them. From them. We'll, what we'll demand as, as coaches and managers. Um, and if we can make it clear for them, you know, good clarity and no grey areas. This is what we want. This is what we expect from you. And likewise, what they expect from us. So it's um, first game. Look forward to it, absolutely. Then we have the international break and that gives us time to work with the players on the training part, which is so important. But it is unusual. Nine games ago is an unusual time. Um, after spending years in the finance and traders, did you think it was a bit of a calculated risk coming here because Forrest had so little time to try and stay in the division and nine tough games coming up? Now they're all tough games. There's no easy game. This division is relentless. People use that word and uh, I think it's appropriate. From start to finish, it's a relentless division. Calculated risk, yeah, as you say, you live and die by the quality of decisions, absolutely. But um, you have to look at, as I said earlier, I don't want to repeat myself, but the size of the club, the tradition of the club, the history, the expectation, they have to excite you. You can't talk about players being excited by these type of situations and not management. Uh, as a manager, as a coach, it absolutely excites me. I know there's a job to be done here. I know the club's in a, the position that it is right now. But there's no doubt about the potential of Nottingham Forest. So our job is to try and uh, steady the ship, add some stability, and then hopefully move it forward. You have the reputation personally for your own CV. Did you feel this could be a risk for me? No, I think you have to take risk. You can't be safe. You can't always play safe. Far from it. And um, we've shown our commitment. I mean, you say to players also, it works both ways. You talk to players about commitment. Uh, and showing diligence and, and the work ethic, etc. For my point of view, David, Frank, etc. We've made the same commitment. We want the club to do well. We know it is. A, we know where the club is. But as I say, the quality within the squad, the potential of the club, the backing you receive from the fans. So um, we have to. We have to enjoy that, recognise it, and as I say, keep moving forward. Yeah, but as I said, it, it's there's no easy games. The thing about the championship, you, whether you're involved in it or you watch it from afar, bottom could be top and no one's surprised. It just happens. You know, there's, there's tough games if you're slightly below your level. Um, if one or two players aren't there on that particular evening or that afternoon, then you pay the price. The quality within the division is evident for all to see. So um, they are tough, but it is one game at a time. I'm not looking at the second game. 
I'm not. It's just about Saturday. Just about Saturday. Focus on Saturday. Try and work with the players. Try and get the selection right if we can. Um, and then you've got that break. Then all the focus will move on. But right now, it'll always be, as long as we're here, it'll always be one game at a time. Yeah, I think I've received the, the assurances and guarantees that you, you need to receive, certainly. So um, I'm, I'm comfortable in that respect. I'm very confident that, that moving forward, we'll have the support from the, from the board and the owners that we, we need to have. Yeah, I think fans aren't stupid. Football fans are smart people. You know, they understand it. The, the message has to be correct. So our job has to come to be here, to come here and, and provide some stability. That's what we need to do. I think communication to the fans is really important. Um, I know sometimes media people jump at me, but I think you have to give give more information to fans. They want to know about their club. Keep them in the picture. Show them signs of progress. Rec you know, highlight problems that you face and, and what you're looking to do to, to surmount those problems. So I think if the communication is good, hopefully the fans can see progress being made in the weeks and months ahead. No, it's easy to say that certain clubs shouldn't be where they are, but the table doesn't lie. We are where we are, so the players recognise it. But you look around the quality within the dressing room, there's some very, very talented players there. So what we have to do is um, come and make some small tweaks to improve it, because it is a fine margin. So come and make some small tweaks, and um, if that helps in performance, all well and good. But it really is looking at one game at a time, knowing what we need to do to, to hit the magic target, so to speak. But um, let's see how we get on. Thank you, appreciate that. It'd be, it'd be foolish to ignore the facts. So, as I said earlier, you have to take everything into consideration. When you make a decision of this magnitude as a, as a manager or a coach, then you have to look at everything. Um, but as I said, we received the assurances and the guarantees. Frank being in early helped us, you know, gave us insight into where the club is right now. Um, you look at the playing squad, you look at the potential of the club, you look at the history of the club, the expectation, the fan base, and those words keep coming up. So, everything taken into account. Yes, I understand what you're saying about in terms of risk, but I think it's a, it's a risk worth taking.